Hi guys, it's Hanny from Eclipse All Sports. I'm just wanting to bring you a quick customer video review. Um, so we've got a few bats going out uh, tomorrow and the customer would just like to have a quick look at them uh, now that they're finished. Um, so I'm going to start off with this uh, Bass Players Edition cricket bat. Uh, this featured last month as number one cricket bat. Um, so that was for the month of September. Um, so yeah, it's an absolute stunning cricket bat. So if you just look at those nice straight even grains. So what basically we've done, we've oiled and knocked it in. Uh, we've rounded off these edges and then we've fitted some fibre edge tape on the edge. Uh, we've put that underneath the scuff sheet and then the scuff sheet on top. And obviously the tape has been fitted right up to the stickers. And the customer wanted some fibre edge tape at the toe as well, so we've done that. Um, we've also fitted an extra grip, so we've gone with a white chevron grip on top of the original bass grip. Um, so this is the infamous Dolphin Profile shape. A really nice cricket bat, lovely full shape. Um, so yeah, it's had two light coats of oil and then we've oiled and knocked it in. And it's pretty much uh, match ready now. He's going to use it in a couple of net sessions before he uses it in a game. Um, but just see how it taps up. As you can see, it was an excellent performing cricket bat to start with, uh, but now it's been oiled and knocked in. It's only getting better, guys, so I reckon after a couple of net sessions, it's going to be an absolute cannon. So I'm looking forward to sending this one out to him, and um, I hope he really likes it. Um, the balance and the pick up on it is excellent. Um, we was pretty good before, but now we've added the second grip, it does feel really light. So I think that was something that he was concerned with is the way the bat was going to pick up and whether it was going to pick up nice and light. Um, but I can say that it does pick up nice and light. So I think he's going to be pretty happy with that. Uh, so this one's going to be going out to America tomorrow. Um, so that's the first one. And then we've got this lovely ton gold edition. So the customer was looking for a low middle cricket bat. Uh, so we selected this one. Uh, along with a few other ones, and then they decided to go with this ton gold edition. It's 211.2, um, it's got 42mm edge and a 64mm spine, so it's a very big bat and very little wood taken out. So, what we've done, we've fitted a uh, toe guard, we've oiled and knocked in the cricket bat, uh, we've fitted edge tape again, and then a little piece of fibre edge tape at the toe, and then the scuff sheet up to the stickers over the top there. Um, so if you just have a look and then we've added a second grip and we've got the white chevron grip underneath the original tongue grip unfortunately um, if I just get it for you here the original tongue grip um, must have been very thin in places because when we was knocking in it split in about three different places so it must have been a, a poor quality grip in terms of um, you get the occasional grip that's very thin in certain places, so it's got a few defects in the rubber. Uh, and this one unfortunately did tear whilst we was knocking the bat in. Um, so what we've done, we've fitted a chevron underneath. And then we've gone um, for the hybrid red chevron and spiral grip on top. So I'll just try and show you a better view. So we've got the white chevron underneath. And then we've got the red hybrid grip on top, gives it a nice feel, it's got a semi oval handle and it gives it a nice feel in the hands. Uh, the balance and the pickup is really nice on this bat for a low middle cricket bat at £2.11, um, it does pick up remarkably nice um, and it feels really good in the hands and we'll just see how it taps up. So as you can see there, it's an absolute cannon. So yeah, it pings absolutely everywhere, it's got a massive hitting area, it's a really low middle, um, but the spine goes right up to the stickers and all the way up into the handle, which extends that sweet spot all the way over the blade, so it's got a massive hitting area, and it's a really good cricket bat, and I'm pretty sure uh, the customer's going to be very happy with this one, so that's going to be posted out to Botswana tomorrow. And uh, then moving on, 
We've got this lovely TC550 Plus. So basically what we did is the fibre sheet that comes with the bat and then we oiled, uh, gave it two light coats of oil and then we knocked it in and then we fitted fibre edge tape on the edges, a small piece of fibre edge tape at the toe and then fitted a full length sheet right up to the stickers. Um, so that's all been done. Uh, this is a stunning bat, um, lovely 550 plus, picks up really nice and the performance is excellent. For an entry level cricket bat, it picks really well and these New Balance bats are pretty much all pressed the same, they all feel like they're pressed the same, the performance is excellent all the way down the grades. So if you can't afford a top end uh, New Balance bat, you can get one of the lower end bats and they'll still perform really well. Uh, just like this one. Stop chasing the ball around. So yeah, it comes really well all over the blade. And this one will be posted out to buyer in tomorrow. So yeah, I hope the customer is really happy with this one. And then uh, finally we're going to finish with the CA Big Bang TR custom made for Martin Potter. He wanted a very big cricket bat, um, so we got this made up. It's a standard length blade, um, so it's not a standard CA short handle. This one is a standard UK length uh, blade and a standard short handle. So it's a little bit bigger than your standard CA cricket bat. This one is weighing three pounds. Um, you've got 42 millimeter edge, uh, just over 20 mil toe. You've got 68 millimeter spine, so it's a massive cricket bat. You look down that spine, you're around about 25 millimeters in the center of the toe there. Tiniest little bit of wood taken out. Um, we have gone and fitted it with a, a second grip just to help with the balance and the pickup. Uh, you've got a slight semi oval handle at the bottom there as well. Um, so three pound when I originally picked it up it did feel heavy obviously a three pound bat's going to feel pretty heavy um, so then I've added the second grip um, just to see how it feels with the second grip and to be honest with you it picks up a lot better with the second grip on there um, it probably feels more like a two pound twelve um, but it does feel nicely balanced um, yep yeah, so I think Martin's going to be pretty happy with that and let's just have a quick look at the grains you're getting stunning grains on this one. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So you've got 17 stunning grains on this one. So it's a beautiful looking piece of willow. Um, so yeah, hopefully Martin's pretty happy with this. I'll just tap it up and just see how it performs. So it's not all done not tin yet. And it absolutely rockets off. Uh, the CA bats do tend to feel a little bit firmer uh, before knocking in uh, but once you've oiled and knocked them in they tend to soften up pretty quickly and they tend to ping pretty much straight away so this one's going to get better and to start with it pings off really well so yeah really impressed with this and I'm pretty sure Martin will be very happy with this cricket bat and as usual, he's going to be scaring some balls as the season starts. Um, so yeah, this is an absolute monster of a bat. And uh, this will be going out to Martin Potter hopefully uh, next week once we've oiled and knocked it in. Um, so that's a customer video review. We will be getting part two of the CA Cricket Bat review up tomorrow. Uh, we've also had a lot of requests for the SG Cricket Bats, which we will be reviewing hopefully over the weekend, if not beginning of next week. And then we've got a few new orders expected. Um, so we'll be reviewing quite a lot of cricket bats over the next couple of weeks. And we've got lots more new stock coming in as well. So if you're looking for a cricket bat, this is probably the best time to get onto our website and have a look. Um, because we've got more cricket bats now than we've had ever before. And we've got more cricket bats coming in as well. So just keep your eyes peeled. Uh, there'll be plenty of video reviews on the website and there'll be plenty more uh, products being listed as well so thank you for watching guys and thanks for your patience and I look forward to bringing you plenty more video reviews over the next few days I'll speak to you all soon bye bye